Hey guys, today we are going to talk about some interesting news, courtesy of Fox 9 News. The police say that an argument over Magic the Gathering card game leads to stabbing. Sometimes games can get very heated, especially ED8s, and if people are playing combo or Armageddon, land destruction, counterspell, it's not actually that fun. And I've seen many times at my local game store where people have pretty much gotten in very, very aggressive arguments uh, to the point that normally they would fight, but because they're nerds, they're probably not going to fight that much or they're not inclined to fight as much. I remember the pre-release for Fate Reforged. Uh, one of the people I played, he beat me, he was really happy. Then the next round, he played another, I think the other undefeated person, and there was a judge call, and both of them got really upset and really angry. It was just crazy, right? It was... Uh, that was the closest to a fight with Magic Gathering players I've seen. I've also seen a cheater at the previous local game store I used to play at throw his deck, especially in Draft and Limited. He would throw his deck across the room. I don't think he was targeting anyone. He was just throwing it in general that if he didn't do well. And he still plays Magic. So there's a lot of personality types that are quite aggressive. There's a lot of personality types that are not, I don't know if they're socially adept. Like these, as I've said many times before, I have a set of friends that I play magic with that I invite over to my home. And then I have a set of friends that I would never invite over to my home that only I only play magic with. And that's not because like I'm more about stealing or something. It's just, you know, it's you personality, right? If your personality messes with someone, then it messes with someone. If it does not, it does not. Um, I remember, and sometimes it changes. Sometimes your person personality changes. Sometimes your friends, their personality changes. So I'm lucky to have a core set of friends and their significant others who are really interested in playing Magic. We play Magic at least once a week, uh, very casual, we'll either do seal draft, whatever we feel like. Um, I have all available resources to play whatever format we want to do. And it's more like a board game night. I think we treat it more as board game, like a board game. Sometimes instead of playing Magic, we'll just play Settlers of Catan or there's a lot of interesting board games. And that's how, that's how I enjoy magic now. I don't enjoy as much as uh, going out because sometimes the person you're playing with is not very friendly. So let's read it. A 31-year-old St. Cloud man is facing assault charges after allegedly, allegedly stabbing a 20-year-old man. So, okay, that's a very young college student maybe. Seven times over an argument during a Magic the Gathering game early Friday morning. So early Friday morning, it's kind of a strange time to be playing Magic, but I guess maybe it was at the apartment. A Around 12.06 a.m., so actually it's midnight, so it was like Thursday night. Police responded to the 1200 block of St. German Street E on a report of stabbing. Uh, 911 was called. And investigators learned that the two men were playing Magic the Gathering trading card game when an argument broke out. The discussion es escalated and led to Kreese hitting the man in the face with a rubber mallet and stabbing him seven times. Wow. The victim had stab wounds all around his neck ugh, and also on his cheek. Emergency crews took the 20-year-old man to St. Cloud Hospital where he received treatment for substantial er injuries. The injuries are not believed to be life-threatening, but he was stabbed seven times in the neck. Investigators searched a executed search warrant of Kreese's apartment after learning he had prior conviction for possession of an explosive, okay, that's not be good, with intent. Uh, the St. Cloud Fire Department tested the air and some items were possibly hazardous, but the test came back negative. Now he is in custody. So essentially they were arguing about magic gathering. One guy took out something and stabbed the other guy seven times in the neck. And the other guy also has interest in explosives. 
<laughs> Next time you invite someone to uh, play Magic Gathering at your house, I'm actually going to probably have to run a background check because I did not know it was so bad. But anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. I'm very blessed to have friends who do similar things to me and live in you know, similar neighborhoods. So pretty sure they don't have prior convictions for explosive explosives. Anyway, bye guys.